traditionally how services are authenticated is that the authentication happens within the services themselves. Service A authenticates, service B authenticates, and service C authenticates. But you run into trouble at scale when you don't have three services, but you have 300 services and you have to maintain 300 separate registries. How traffic, how, how we see the industry, how we see the industry moving is that uh, folks who are working in this sort of microservices world are beginning to perform the authentication task at the proxy layer. So rather than maintaining 300 authentication registries, you're able to maintain it in a single place, which is the ingress proxy. And just as a bit of context on that, we see some of the world's biggest uh, Fortune 500 brands, Fortune 10 brands, uh, really charging hard at this at this uh, architecture. Mutual TLS authentication, it's, it's, I would say, we can compare it to the TLS termination, so the SSL in our browser. However, in that case, we need to, um, how the, uh, we need to check identity of our client because if you use standard TLS termination, you are not sending any certificates to prove who you are to any website. You are just using, uh, you are just going to the website and you are you, you settle the uh, a cryptic channel to have a secure connectivity between your browser and your and the server. But in that case, we need to also prove who we are. So we need to pass our authentication. Uh, uh, our certificates in the request in order to access the data. So it's the mutual SSL authentication requires a little more steps than standard TLS authentication because we need to exchange, exchange and validate identity between client and server. So that's the entire process, how it, how it looks like. It's 12 steps, a little more difficult, uh, but yeah, this is how it works. So let, let me now uh, show you how it works. So in order to work with a, a, a TLS authentication, we need to generate a certificate authority. We need to generate certificates for the client and for the server. So I already done that using OpenSSL and lots of the comments to, to, to create it. Let me go to full screen and let's play. So now all those certificates will be created as a Kubernetes secrets. So MTLS and who am I certificates will be added to Kubernetes as a, as a Kubernetes objects. So that's the MTLS, that's the who am I, it's already added. And now let's deploy very simple application. Again, who am I, but more simpler than we have just seen, more, I would say, uh, prepared for the CLI. And as you can see, I create a specific object on Kubernetes that is a custom custom object. It's called TLS option, and it creates, it refers actually to the client authentication secret, MTLS. And now let me just disable all TLS configuration and let's keep it empty object here tls will be empty object and we will deploy that that application and the application will be accessible through that url so let me redeploy it let's check whether it's up and running yes let's go to the dashboard again and as you can see application router has been created application has been deployed and we have a TLS enabled. There are no any certificates resolvers added, so traffic will be uh, presenting um, default certificate. The, the, you will see that that will be a warning once uh, while I will be connecting to that URL. So let me use curl trafficlabs.tech. Yeah, uh, that's the problem because we have a self signed certificate traffic default certificate is self-signed so carl doesn't trust our certificate so we need to use specific parameter dash k it means insecure and yeah issuer is traffic default cert now we can enable yeah we know that it's at 200 that application has been correctly that request has been correct, correctly completed. 
And now let me let me enable uh, specific certificates that we have just created and redeploy that ingress route once again. Yes, it has been configured, has been changed. Let's refresh. And as you can see, TLS section has been, has been changed because we have uh, our options, TLS options that we have just created. And now let, let's try to access that application. As you can see in the previous request, I received 200, even with uh, uh, using uh, insecure parameter in curl, but I was able to access the app. But now let's try to, let's see what will happen. Uh, even with a dash K, as you can see, dash K has been, has been uh, added here. I received the information that connection uh, finished alert bad certificate. So we were not able to access the app because we implemented mutual TLS authentication. So now in order to access the application, we need to use a little longer uh, curl command and we need to pass our certificate. So we need to use our CA, our key, a client and uh, client key and client certificate that, that should be added to the HTTP request in order to access the app. And yes, because we added those certificates, our identity, uh, our uh, uh, traffic were able to identify who you are because he knows uh, um, uh, the, the issuer and knows that, the, um, that that client certificate has been correctly issued by valid certificate authority. And the application is available, accessible using those uh, certificates. Let's try to with a more verbose, more, more detailed response. And as you can see, the common name, it's traffic CA. And the application is accessible. 